In this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play the awesome James Jamerson bass line to the song Ain't Too Proud to Beg by The Temptations. Alright, so as far as this song goes uh, in terms of form on the bass, uh, there's only two sections we have to learn. Just the verse and the chorus. Um, aside from that, we have a four note pickup, which I'm going to teach you guys in a second. So the song starts with an eight bar intro. The first seven bars, uh, we're just going to rest. We're not going to play anything. And on beat three of that eighth bar before uh, the chorus, we're going to come in with four notes. And those four notes are A, G, E, and B. So A, second fret on the G string. The G is on the fifth fret of the D string. The E is on the second fret of the D string. And B, second fret of the A string. And we play them all as eighth notes. So that sounds like this. A one, two. Okay, and a bit slower. A one, two. And that leads us into our chorus, which is the section I'm going to teach you guys now. Alright, so the chorus section starts with a C note, which is 3rd fret on the A string, an E, 2nd fret on the D string, a G, 5th fret on the, on the D string, F, 3rd fret on the D string, A, 2nd fret on the G string, and then we go back down to the first note we started on, C, 3rd fret on the A string. Okay, so I'm just going to cover those notes up until there one more time. So. time. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So after we land back on that C, we're going to play it two more times. And then we're going to use our pinky to play the fifth fret on the low E string. And we're going to play that note twice. And then we're going to play a G once on the 3rd fret of the low E string, and then we're going to go back up to an A on the 5th fret of the low E string. So just that part now sounds like this. And a bit slower, 3, 4. Alright, now those two little half parts of that section combined now sounds like this. Play that with a metronome now just so you guys get a better idea of how it sits with the timing. Uh, one, two, three, four. Alright, so that one two bar sequence of the chorus, We're going to play for a total of four times, which equals eight bars, and that's going to equal one chorus, okay? Alright, so the next section of the song, and the only other section we have to learn, is the, uh, is the verse, and it's super, super simple. Um, it's likewise uh, to the chorus, it's also an eight bar section, and so um, we're basically playing one note every two bars, it's that simple. So we're going to play a C on the third fret of the A string on beat one of the first bar, okay? And then the second bar, we're not going to play anything. The third bar, we're going to play a C again. Fourth bar, nothing. Fifth bar, C again. Sixth bar, nothing. Seventh bar, a C again. And now this time on the eighth bar, which leads us back into the chorus, we're going to put our pinky on the fifth fret of the D string, and we're going to play this. One, two, three, four. So we're going to play five G's in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So now the whole verse with the metronome sounds like this. A one, two, three, four. And then rest. And then rest. Three, four. And then rest. And then shots on G.
right, so now that we've learned the two different sections, um, I'm just going to talk about the last thing we need to know, which is essentially the form and how many times we're supposed to play everything. So the song starts with the intro, and then we do that four note bass pickup, which leads us into the first chorus, okay? And that's when we're kind of really entering into the song. So we play that chorus once, and then we play a verse after that, the second verse. And then we go to the second chorus, and then we play a third verse, and then we play a third chorus. This time, instead of going back to a verse, we play the exact same bass line as we would in the chorus, because it's the same chords and everything, but a solo takes place this time instead. So coming out of the solo, unlike the, the uh, three other times where we just went leading right back into the verse section, we actually play the same shots as we would coming out of the verse section, which sounds like this. And that leads us into the fourth and final verse of the song. And then after that, we just play the chorus until uh, the fade out. So the chorus just keeps repeating until the song fades out. So I definitely recommend um, practice each one of these sections individually, getting them really solid, super slowly first with a metronome, and then gradually speed it up, and then make your goal to play this uh, along to the actual recording of the song by The Temptations. So thanks a lot for watching. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below, and I'll definitely do my best to answer. Thanks a lot.